Salut les potos, ici le filou, je vous propose aujourd'hui une affaire à la fois sordide et cocasse de relations sexuelles entre un prof marié et un étudiant de 17 ans. Les deux se sont envoyés des centaines de messages et se donnaient rendez-vous dans la maison de l'institutrice lorsque le mari était absent. Ah, bien. Alors pourquoi cocasse Eh bien parce que cette institutrice qui a été prise sur le fait, tenez-vous bien, remplacer justement un autre instituteur qui lui aussi couchait avec ses élèves. Et que se passe-t-il dans cette ville pour avoir un début de réponse, peut-être faut-il regarder du côté des profs qu'ils emploient. Et moi qui n'aimais pas l'école, un reportage de CBS News. Tonight, shocking allegations against another teacher at a local school, a music teacher charged with having an inappropriate relationship with a student. And that teacher replaced another music teacher two years ago who also allegedly had a relationship with a student. Shelly Bortz is live with what she just learned about the investigation. Shelly. Well, you're right. Olivia Ortz replaced the music teacher here at Wilmington Area School District uh, two years ago after he lost his job for alleged inappropriate relationships with several students. He's awaiting trial. As soon as it was discovered, it was reported to Childline. It was reported to us. Police were alerted to a possible romantic relationship between then choir director Olivia Ortz and a 17-year-old student by the high school principal in April. The month-long investigation police say turned up a treasure trove of evidence to support the claim, including text messages, a love letter, and overnights here at Ortz's home while her husband was out of town. He believed that it was an adult male that she was having a relationship with. Uh, she told him it wasn't what he thought, what certainly turned out to be accurate, and she ended up admitting that she, that the letter was from a female student. On May 5th, police executed a search warrant on the Ortz home and confiscated a cell phone and iPad. Police say the two continued to communicate and exchanged 100 messages during a two-day period last week until they got caught. The two of them exchanged over 100 surreptitious communications using a music app so nobody would discover it. We went to Ortz's parents' home in Hermitage where she is staying and knocked on the door. Her father greeted us. Um, is she home? She's home, she's no comment. Okay, would you like to make a comment? Not at all. Now, Ortz is being charged with intercourse and sexual conduct with a school student, as well as unlawful contact with a minor. Now, she's due in court next week.